In this video, we're going to be looking at how to decrease Th2 dominance. My name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're struggling with things like eczema, aka atopic dermatitis, asthma, and other atopic-like syndromes, this video is going to help you understand what you can do. In this video, I'm specifically following up on a question that a viewer asked about what supplements or herbs they can take to balance out their Th1 and Th2 levels. We'll also talk about what that kind of means uh, in the context of the immune system. Uh, but if you like the video and want to see more things like this, click on the subscribe and the like button to get more videos like this. Amara786 asked the question, what herbs and supplements can we use to balance Th1 and Th2? And this question is in relation to eczema. And with eczema, there's generally a shift towards more, more of that Th2 activity. So in this case, we want to look at how to decrease Th2 dominance or decrease Th2 to activity and shift more towards a balance towards so that the body is getting some th th2 but also some th1 um, and specifically we'll, we want to look at what herbs and supplements can be used to do this and so we'll be looking at some themes and ideas that you can use to decrease this th2 activity but before i um kind of jump into that i wanted to, to mention that you shouldn't necessarily take this as like prescription or prescriptive advice but look at this and like help you understand what sort of uh, themes and general ideas you can use to help your body decrease the th2 activity so the first thing just a little information on what th1 and th2 is uh, the immune system has different uh, lines of cells and it, with regard to that th stands for t helper so these are types of white blood cells that help the body prepare and respond to problems when they see them and they're responding you know in an appropriate manner to whatever problem they see so basically the cells are undifferentiated and based on what they're seeing you're going to see more th1 cells or more th2 cells so really the th t helper cells when you have this th2 dominance is just a result of what the immune system is seeing and it's responding to that so depending on what the immune system sees will determine which t helper cells are being produced and and a lot of times, a lot of this stuff is coming from the digestive tract. So taken as a whole, we want to look at uh, things that will reduce toxins, allergens, and uh, things of this nature, because these are the things that tend to stimulate the immune system towards that TH2. And in a previous video on eczema, we talked about how the relative balance in the microbiome is important. And so because most of these toxins and allergens and, and things are coming in from coming in and or generated from the digestive tract, this is a good place to start our focus. Our biome or the bacteria in your digestive tract respond to the food that you eat and the, the will produce more byproducts um, based on the food that you eat. And these byproducts are some of the toxins that uh, need to be bound up and eliminated because they will cause some of this uh, increased TH2 activity because those toxins are stimulating the immune system in a way that creates that. So in order to reduce the TH2 dominance, one thing you can look at is decreasing those toxins by using things like uh, fiber, like psyllium fiber or other types of binders. Another good option is activated charcoal and using these will help decrease the TH2 dominance. It will help decrease the TH2 dominance if the problem is coming from increased gut toxins. Um, there are other reasons why this TH2 dominance can be present, but uh, that is a relatively uh, simple way to approach it and effective as well. Um, in terms of probiotics, and you know balancing out the microbiome from that angle um, there are different probiotics that you would want to avoid and these are the ones that are going to interfere with histamine breakdown so I'm not going to go into those ones that are are bad but it's a lot of the lactobacillus uh, strains and the probiotics that would be helpful would be things like uh, the bifidobacterium and lactobacillus rhamnosus that is a lactobacillus but um, this particular one is okay in terms of histamine. Another thing you want to look at or think about to decrease Th2 dominance is stabilizing the mast cells. So the mast cells are the cells that contain histamine and these an increased abundance of these mast cells are the end result of this increased Th2 activity or one of the end results. And there are certain herbs and, and uh, nutrients that you can use to stabilize these mast cells. Some of those include things like quercetin, vitamin C, 
and other quercetin-like molecules called uh, plant bioflavonoids. So basically, those are two or three general ideas you can use to reduce the Th2 uh, dominance. And I'll put some links into in the description for you to uh, you know, for you to see some examples. Again, I don't want you to take this as prescriptive advice because there's a lot of different reasons people have skin reactions and eczema, and uh, you should always take something take in consultation with your doctor. Thanks for watching this video on how to decrease TH2 dominance. If you have a burning question of your own that you'd like answered, please ask it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that specific topic. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.